So it seems we have the Four of Pentacles here in the reverse as well as a Tower moment. Someone's been avoiding you as it seems they have a fear of change. Mm. But I feel their fear of change has caused some type of Tower moment. We have a Tower moment energy here as well as the Four of Pentacles. Mm. Three of Pentacles as well as the Lotus card in the reverse. So there's a lack of teamwork here. Someone possibly strayed from a connection and invested in something else, causing a lover's situation to have no harmony, no balance. There's a misalignment when it comes to values and beliefs. This is someone who caused a heartbreak, something tragic, grief, loss, separation. Here with Three of Swords energy, we also have the Sun card in the reverse, hmm. the Chariot in the reverse. We also have the Five. Wow the six of wands so here with the six of wands as well as the four of wands this is someone who caused a breakdown in communication collaboration causing a system of teamwork to go awry i feel like this is someone who disregarded you disregarded your emotions your actions or your feelings because they wanted public recognition here with the six of wands here with the six of wands it's also letting me know that this energy wanted control attention access but here with the chariot in the reverse this is someone who lacks direction and lost control this energy was living in some type of false illusion when it comes to options we have the seven of cups energy here where someone was living in a complete fantasy i feel this energy is now thinking about the choices they made the options they had because many of those choices are no longer available i feel this energy caused something to stop pause i feel there's some type of frustration due to a delay because this energy doesn't like the attention they're starting to get this is someone who caused a breakdown in communication acknowledgement due to a tower moment now they're dealing with a lot of losses and setbacks because of their lack of direction here with the page of wands in the reverse i feel this energy lost direction because of their greed their materialistic values or their selfish ways. Here with the Seven of Wands energy, this is someone who created a lot of comp competition or challenges, even obstacles, with the way they chose to treat you. So I definitely feel this energy caused a tower moment within a teamwork situation where something is now misaligned. This energy caused a lot of heartbreak and grief due to selfish choices or disrespect someone thought something would be temporary here with the sun in the reverse something is not going well or this energy didn't expect the results that they got because now they're reflecting on their options and feeling something is stalled with you there's someone who wants your attention but they know the disharmony they cause within this teamwork situation definitely took a toll on you here with the tower card now there's a breakdown in communication or admiration because someone pushed you away or caused some self-imposed restrictions here with the eight of swords so i feel like this energy had something bound and trapped because of a challenge or a competition now someone is trying to hold on to what they have but i feel this tower moment has created a lot of loss and it created a lot of frustration yeah here with the tower card this is someone dealing with a lot of harsh consequences and karma because they refused to let something go. Something was left up in the air, left in suspension. Hmm. Now there's a lot of sacrifice. I feel this sacrifice is coming from the fact that this energy wanted attention. Now this energy is re regretting the attention that they have because the way that people view them is not the same. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Someone was trying to have a new beginning but caused a tower moment because of lack of respect. Now they're going through a lot of setbacks and losses because of their lack of direction. I also feel there's a lot of confusion because of the breakdown in communication where there's no clarity but a lot of chaos. Um, they brought on a lot of conflict and tension. So I feel this conflict and tension is coming from the fact that someone couldn't lay something to rest here with the Four of Swords. Now this energy is contemplating about the choices that they made sitting in this illusion or fantasy. This energy thought that they have 
had options and now they're reflecting on that. It's trying to figure out how to lay something to rest here with the Four of Swords. I also feel here with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse and the Five of Swords, someone brought about a lot of tension where it seems they were trying to win at all costs. This energy was being very petty with you. Petty when it comes to affairs of the heart. This petty behavior caused this heartbreak. Someone thought that they were too big to fail. But now they're going through a state of bad luck here with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. I feel there is possible external forces causing something to be more difficult than it may seem but I feel in somewhat of a situation something is just not what it seems for someone who is still lacking in communication realizing something that they have done to you or themselves just because they were challenging challenging the status quo here with the hierophant in the reverse these are self-imposed restrictions here Eight of Swords is letting me know that someone bound and tied themselves by creating all of this dysfunction with you, this chaos, this lack of clarity. Now someone feels like you left them out in the cold when this is someone who pushed you away or abandoned you. There's a lot of insecurity as this energy is financially strapped or going through some, some financial losses. This is, this is someone who's wanting to recover, but they may be sitting in poverty. This energy is sitting in poverty for the choices that they made. Ace of Swords is letting me know there's a lot of confusion because of the tower moment. Now this energy is trying to hold on to everything they have. Yet due to these restrictions that they have caused for, for themselves, they are going through a lot of challenges, competition, and they're trying to persevere through that. I feel this energy is wanting to lay something to rest, but they're not wanting to be judged. They feel like they're going to laugh at them. This energy feels foolish. This energy feels like something may never change. Yeah, this energy is working on something. This could also be planning here with the Eight of Pentacles, where someone is tired of going through the bad luck. I also feel like someone could be trying to put something together or get something straight before trying to reach out to a lover situation or a teamwork situation. So someone definitely wants to put the work in now. They left something in the air. They left something without closure. Now they're dealing with the sacrifice of wanting the attention because now someone is embarrassed and humiliated by an outcome. Yeah, Something is definitely stalled here when it comes to making a decision. I feel this energy feels like they need to come back with more than they left with and there could be an emotional block here for someone who just wants to have some type of truce with you. This energy wants to let something go because of all the bad luck that they have caused or they're going through. They want to lay something to rest because the options they chose only took them down a dead end or a dark road. I feel this energy wants to lay something to rest because they now feel like the restrictions that they have caused for themselves, these self-imposed restrictions, are causing them to go into a state of poverty. This energy feels like they can't do something alone. They don't want to do something alone. But I still feel they could be acting strategically. Here with the Seven of Swords energy, someone is still acting strategically when it comes to mental challenges. They're wanting to break through, <laughs> break free through something, but there's still something that needs to be said or let go. This is due to the sacrifices of someone wanting to win at all costs, causing a lot of drama and tension with you. Now they're feeling defeated because of the losses. Someone doesn't want, to know, want you to know how much they have lost. Hmm. Trying to get away with something strategically, they only ended up hurting themselves. Now this energy is sitting in despair or some sense of regret because of the losses. They feel like they can't pick things up where you guys left off because things were very harsh when they left. This energy gave you no closure or no respect when they did, all because of their greedy ways. I definitely feel there is a lack of completion, a lack of closure here with the world card in the reverse. And I also feel here with the eight of wands, there's a lot of delays. I feel there's a lot of delays and distractions for someone who was holding back because now they're feeling like they should have never left something hanging or held something off. 
I feel this energy was being very greedy and now they're looking at what they have versus what they had. There's a lack of long-term view here as well because of their limited ways of thinking. I feel this energy is wanting to escape the troubles that they're going through as they're starting to think that they won't be able to get through this without you. Um, because maybe they feel they have already lost that opportunity. Here with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone feels like they lost an opportunity within a job or a financial situation. Please take it how it resonates, but this energy lacks when it comes to foresight and even planning. That caused them to miss an opportunity with you. As well as this strife, the tension, this conflict, five of wands. I feel someone brought a lot of tension within a situation because they were very unrealistic about a situation, very moody energy. There's a lot of highs and lows and they're sitting in a state of hope. This energy is sitting in a space of hope, thinking about your energy and the fact that they want to renew something with you here with the star card. But I also feel here with the judgment energy, they're wanting to have a rebirth with you, but someone's going to have to go through it to get through it. There's a lot of losses, regret embarrassment and shame that they're going to have to deal with this energy doesn't want to be judged but i feel it's judgment time this is someone who's very emotionally immature and they're starting to feel like threes a crowd or they don't fit in wherever they are i also feel like they are going through some type of financial hardship failure loss this energy is feeling lonely even when they're not alone I feel there's a lot of justice going through their life. This is fairness, truth, cause and effect, law. Someone definitely took something beyond repair or someone took something too far. This is why someone is dealing with some consequences for their reckless choices here with the full car in the reverse. This energy is coming out as foolish or naive. Someone who took a risk where there was no reward. Now they're wanting to recover. But they feel like they're being judged or this energy could also be stuck in the past here with the six of cups in the reverse. This is someone who should have held their position or appreciated their position with you. Instead, this energy had somewhat of a hidden agenda. Someone should have listened to you. But I feel you had to cut the cord. Queen of Swords. Hmm which is causing them to be over emotional. But I feel this energy was very heartless or cold towards you, very malicious, petty, and this is why something had to end for you to find new beginnings somewhere else or even for this energy to just simply change. Inspiration is here with the Ace of Wands. Hmm. I feel like this energy is inspired by something and they're looking forward to reaching out but they feel like something with you has definitely changed. The mood, the vibe. We have the... Wow. Dang. This is the Nine of Swords here in the reverse. Someone's feeling a sense of despair. They feel like you're tormenting them by being silent or just standing in your power. This energy is having a lot of sleepless nights, nightmares, depression. Hopeless energy of someone feel, feeling they're being tormented by life, being tormented by their consequences because something they had with you, they feel they have now lost. Just because they were juggling a situation here with the two, two of Pentacles. The Two of Cups as well as the Two of Pentacles is letting me know this was a partnership, a relationship, a close bond that should have been a, a secure situation. It should have been powerful, but this energy had no discipline. We have the Hierophant in the reverse. Well, the Hermit card in the reverse. Sorry, you guys. This energy is on the edge. I feel like this energy is on the edge with the Nine of Wands energy because they feel like they put you in a space of being in defense of self. This energy is withdrawn, feeling like they should have never isolated themselves. King of Cups energy here. Someone is very emotionally imbalanced. They're wanting to control something. Hmm. But they feel like they've lost control, control or lost position. This is someone you were very generous to. I feel you were very generous here with the Six of Pentacles energy. But you may also look at this situation as charity. Uh, yeah, this is someone who should have been in 
high authority or a powerful position. We have the King of Cups, someone very emotional, and the Emperor card, as well as the King of Swords. Someone was not able to clear something away. I feel this energy was not thinking clearly and not telling the truth, causing a foundation not to be solid here with the Emperor card. I feel like this energy should have gave more attention, but someone detached themselves, wanting to break free from a connection. Now they're wanting to reclaim their power. Now this energy is sitting in a space of despair, wishing they never took something too far or tested you. Because now they're in a state of fear of the unknown, trying to gather their strength to make an offer that was once given to them. This is someone who is very unhappy here with the moon card in the reverse. There's a lot of confusion when it comes to love, Ace of Cups. So I definitely feel here with the Ace of Cups, someone is definitely sitting in a space of being over emotional. I feel someone's possibly outpouring with emotions, possibly crying. Someone can't believe you moved on. I feel this is someone who is resistant to change, and even if you haven't moved on, they believe it's true. Page of Swords, someone is trying to figure out how to work their way back to you. This is someone who is intalkative, and I also feel their energy levels have taken a downfall due to their mental clarity. This is someone who wants harmony, but they feel like they can't make a move towards you. There's some type of block. This is someone who feels like they need to think quickly because time is running out and they're wanting to balance something with you. Magician card is letting me know they're praying or trying to manifest you in some type of way because they know that the love that you have for them, Queen of Cups, was definitely authentic and true. I feel this energy is overloaded with burden right now. It's the last card in the deck. It's the Ten of Wands. This is someone who is overloaded when it comes to work. Doesn't matter how hard they work the finances don't change. This is someone who is stressed about their achievements and they're heavily burdened by it. I feel like this energy is going through a lot of changes, a lot of losses and sacrifices all because they didn't make a decision or didn't make the right decision when it comes to affairs of the heart. Now this energy is feeling restricted and left out in the cold even though they're the ones who abandoned you. This is someone who's going through a lot of regret here with the Five of Cups energy. A sense of despair and even desperation because they now feel they're going to have to work twice as hard to get your attention now. Let's get a little bit more energy here. Let me see what are the messages here for the collective energies. What the cards here that best represent the message or the reading? So it seems like this energy is still up to some twisted tactics. This energy is feeling like you're hands off, but they're thirsty for you. Thirsty for your attention, and they're wanting to escape. So someone knows that they want to be next to you, but they feel like they don't have that option, hands off. This energy feels like they don't have the right to claim you anymore. And this energy is going through a state of shame or embarrassment for it, because they feel like you don't have time for them. I feel this energy could be trying to escape by numbing your pain, self-medicating, and that's not even working at this point because this energy is trying to come up with some type of tactic to gain your attention. Someone is wanting to lure you back in, but there is a sense of mixed signals when de dealing with this energy because they're off and on wishy-washy when it comes to love, affairs of the heart. Wow, so there's a hard fog when it comes to someone who was tiptoeing around a situation, breadcrumbing them. Now they're wanting to reunite, but they feel like you're guarded. <sighs> someone feels like you're guarded and hard to reach here, and they regret tiptoeing around a situation. Someone feels like they should have just told you the truth instead of doing things to cause you to ask more questions. This is someone who was tiptoeing around the fact that they were trying to people please others, over giving, over sharing, and never keeping it real with you. I feel this is someone who was not honest. This energy was not being transparent when it comes to their intentions. They told you one thing and did another. This is why the heart fog is here of mixed signals. This is why they feel like you are guarded. 
This energy feels like you were guarded because they breadcrumbed you and they didn't invest real time into this. Now they're trying to tiptoe around the fact that they were sneaking around or being shady towards you. Avoiding something because in, in the end they got caught. I feel like this energy is trolling you, wanting to bait you in, provoke you in some type of way because they're intentionally trying to get some type of attention. And whether that's through upsetting you or making you smile, this energy could care less. They just want your attention again. And they're very dramatic and salty about it. Someone regrets the fact that they have put you in this this different mood. Someone is not used to seeing you this way or feeling this type of vibe from this connection. And they want to make some type of connection with you, but they feel like what they had is already lost because you may not be dealing with them. Wow, you may not be in the mood. For some of you, you're not in the mood to deal with this and they know it. I feel for many of you, you did a lot to try to rebuild with this energy or make something work and there was always a competition or some type of battle with them, which has caused them to think that you no longer want them around because of all they've done in the past. And in so many ways, this energy could be trolling you because they know they did something without intention. They know they screwed this up by not having boundaries or setting limits. Hmm. Someone feels like they don't measure up. Someone feels like they don't measure up and this is why they're always moving with fake energy, imposter energy. Salty about the outcome of their life. This energy is sugarcoating, sugarcoating a lot of things in your, their life because they're trying to alter their appearance or alter the way that other think, others think of them. Wow, this is why they're coming out as a player who's just making noise. This is someone who's making noise and they're all talk but meaningless words, empty promises of a player. Someone who is playing the field. For many of you, you could be guarded towards this energy because of their breadcrumbing ways, their selfish ways, or the fact that they're sitting in imposter energy. I feel like this energy didn't keep it real with you because things are not what it seems. This energy settled for something and someone doesn't want you to know how bad things really are. Wow, this is someone who is always seeking other options no matter what you do, how loyal you are. And this is another reason why you're hard to reach or you're somewhat guarded when it comes to them because this energy is always pushing you to your limit. This is someone who was all talk, no walk. And now they're wanting to butter you up make some type of offer but it almost seems like they're wanting to finesse their way out of this persuade you to do something let them back in or have this heart to heart someone wants to spill the beans reveal some type of secret someone wants to let the cat out of the bag and have this heart to heart with you a deep conversation that is long overdue I feel this is someone who needs to be blunt and honest about a situation and they're wanting to bounce back. This is someone who wants to overcome their obstacles when it comes to affairs of the heart, but they know they're going to have to talk to you to do it. Someone knows they're going to have to do something with no filter, tell the truth, because you may have a lot of evidence. Something has already been exposed to you and someone knows they're guilty as charged. Someone knows they're guilty. For the mind games and many of you may also have receipts for that evidence of someone manipulating you or gassing you up with scare tactics this is someone who definitely breadcrumbed you with little effort hmm. because they are not ready to grow or commit causing something to be broken or shattered or even broken beyond repair there's a lot of destruction here for someone who gave zero fucks about life even you even so, I definitely feel this is someone who is starting to get a little desperate because of that. Because now that they feel you don't want anything to do with them, they're wanting to spill the tea about a sneaky link or a hidden lover or a side piece. This is someone who will cause you to question everything about them. Because they tried to dodge a bullet, they swerved on you, they changed on you. This is someone who was avoiding you and dismissed your feelings. And I don't feel like they were sorry about it. 
I feel this is someone who had no remorse until they reach rock bottom. I feel this energy had no remorse for neglecting you or not being responsible until something was put on blast. I feel like someone was put on bad blast for throwing something away, rejecting you or throwing something away as if it meant nothing. Because now they're dealing with frenemies and someone's trying to be macho about it. But there's a lot going on behind the scenes. A lot. There's a lot of hostile energy, conflict, maybe even fighting. Because there's a lot of animosity circling them. Because as I said before, they're dealing with people who pretend to be their friend and they are clearly not. These are two-faced energies. That are coming out as frenemies who have hidden attentions and a hidden agenda. Now someone is regretting the mind games and the mind play because they initially screwed themselves in the process. Now they feel like something they had with you is shattered for good because of the fact that they disregarded you. Now they're trying to figure out how to tiptoe around something. But I feel to make something right with you, they're just going to have to keep it real someone's gonna have to keep it real with you so that you would see something differently or even want to hear them out but for many of you this buttering up situation I don't feel like you have time for it I don't feel you have the time for the mind games or this false illusion where someone is only giving empty promises and I sense them trying to finesse their way through this this won't work at all yeah Someone was all talk, no walk. This is why they ended up throwing something away with you. Now they could be in hermit mode because they feel like you have finally kicked them to the curb for the things that they do or the things that they have done. Because this has been a long road. Hmm. I feel like this has been a long road where many of you were in it for the long haul. Yet this energy started being extra. They overdid something when it comes to their savage ways or being fake and phony or some type of imposter. Because this energy wasn't being honest with you, they have created a lot of setbacks. This energy is facing losses that has them off track. Someone knows that they are completely off track when it comes to who they should be versus who they are. I feel this is someone who is being very savage, extra, when it comes to not even caring about anything but self. And sometimes, not even that. Now they regret leaving you on red, not communicating or telling you the truth because they were being petty, immature with you, thinking that they were going to have the outcome that they wanted. Now they're dealing with delays and setbacks. I feel this is someone who flaked out on you, deserted the connection, abandoned you because they are a follower, a sheep, who was listening to the things that others had to say about you because they lack their own opinion. This energy is coming out as a follower that is easily swayed by influences. But I feel in so many ways they're easily guided, but they're bullheaded when it comes to you. This is someone who should have listened to you. I feel many of you gave them the truth. You were very blunt about it. And I feel you were also very emotional. I feel your emotions were a reason for them to say you couldn't handle something and another reason why they choose to lie to you because they claim you're over emotional. But I feel now that you are unbothered or doing something different, someone feels like <sighs> pity went too far. Someone feels like them being petty took something too far, especially when breadcrumbing you are flaking out. I feel this energy did a lot of things and said a lot of things and it never came through because they were things were not what it seemed. Someone was sugarcoating their facts, their life, and even their finances. Even sending subliminals like low-key taking digs at you because they were flexing, thinking they were all that. This, this energy was trying to show off, having a lot of pride and wanting the attention. So much so that they were being boastful about it. Now this energy wants to send some type of distress call. Act with some type of urgency. Hmm. I feel like this energy wants to send some type of distress call. Now that things are falling apart, this energy did something savagely and extra. Someone was definitely faking the truth. Hmm. Being a fraud and following the wrong crowd. Now they're wanting to talk. 
but many of you feel like it's just meaningless words. I feel in so many ways this energy is completely shocked that you got through something. Someone's shocked that you got a lucky break. You're sitting in good fortune or you're not moving in the same energy that they are. Someone is definitely sitting in a space where they're completely dumbfounded by the results of things. I feel this energy did something very savagely with you. But now they feel like you're a key player, very important, irreplaceable. <sighs> now someone feels like they should have never taken a chance because they feel blocked out. I feel like this energy feels blocked out because in so many ways they thought that you would chase, find them, look for them. But I feel this energy has always been difficult. <sighs> This is why they thought that they were going to get away with something. But I feel this energy is completely shocked that you you gained access to a, a blessing, not a burden. Someone is shocked that you are getting a lucky break. There's good fortune for you while someone is feeling like they're dismissed, blocked out, and they're truly struggling because of it. I feel the struggle is real when it comes to someone who is bullheaded and very stubborn, narrow-minded energy for someone who is always being difficult. Because a lot of the actions that they do just leaves you shaking your head. It's a complete letdown when it comes to someone who is trolling and being extra about it. I feel this energy let you down in so many ways. This is a deep feeling of disappointment when dealing with the energy between the two of you. I feel you disapproved of a lot of their choices, but there is really nothing you could do about it. Now this energy feels like their access is denied while they're going through this rough patch. This is a frustrating situation where someone is experiencing some true trying times. In fact, in so many ways, many of you may feel like you don't know who this is. And for some of you, they're blocked. I feel this energy could be blocked energetically or you block their number. They could be calling from a fake number. Please take it how it resonates, but I definitely feel this energy is going through a rough patch and they're shocked that you're not. This energy sees you as a key player, someone who is important or essential in their life, but they're also feeling like you're, you're not fed up over it. Too hard to create change with this energy where it seems there's a lot of highs and lows. I feel like this energy is hot and cold, and this is why you're fed up over it, not having it. It's too frustrating to deal with someone who is always putting you on this tidal wave. I feel you had to take the high road. Many of you are just unbothered, and many of you are hoping for change. But I, I still feel in so many ways you had to push past this, brush something off, take the high road when it comes to someone who wanted the spotlight or someone who is dealing with some very karmic or toxic influences. There's dirty, dirty money involved here, so this makes me feel like someone may have stole something from you or them, or this energy is doing a lot of strange things for change. I feel like this energy may be resorting to taking things that don't belong to them. Please take it how it resonates. Leave what does not resonate. <laughs> But I feel this energy is wanting to backtrack on something that they have done or said when it comes to a third party or someone they thought was a friend. Because they are now seeing how birds of a feather flock together. And they're not sitting or standing with their soul tribe. This is someone who wants to do something without a filter when it comes to you. This is someone who wants to come in authentically. You also may be dealing with someone who has gained a lot of bad habits since separating from you. And they're needing to be mature or adult about a situation, but this energy is still being petty or naive when it comes to dark influences. I feel like someone could be influencing them to do something stupid for money. That is not for everyone, but I feel like something could definitely be on pause when it comes to someone who is now wanting to put the squad on pause. I feel like this is someone who knows that something is flatlining with you. Feelings are fading because they were sitting in a fantasy of make-believe. Someone knows they disappointed you by choosing something that they now see was worthless or toxic. Because now something has drifted apart with you. Hmm. And they're regretting the fact that something has been hesitant or delayed for some time. 
because something has lost momentum. I feel for many of you, something is definitely dying or something has faded in so many ways where someone is wanting to come back and give some type of love or even finances, but they could be juggling or budgeting, but still coming up empty handed. Someone's trying to get out of their feelings, but they're swept up in some type of toxic situation. But I feel them not being sorry about something, leaving you on red or causing some type of drama is the reason they got put on blast. This energy is having a fight for their life, fight for their respect, or fight for something. Wow. There's a lot of mind games and drama going on, and they're trying to be macho about it. Someone is trying to act like something is not affecting them when it truly is. And they're coming to some type of light bulb moment when it comes to looking past you or not being true to the connection. I also feel here with the player energy, someone feels they settled for less, and this is why they're trying to backtrack someone is trying to backtrack out of this make-believe mess I feel this energy is wanting to backtrack because of their self-doubt they're wanting to reach out but they feel like you're unbothered since you've taken the high road someone feels like you're too far to reach this energy wants to call you from another number or call you unknown they feel like if they call you won't pick up hmm. But I feel something is being exposed when it comes to someone doing things out of the ordinary or someone being a thief or illegal activity. Please take it how it resonates, but someone is definitely on their own roller coaster while things are not going their way. I feel like this energy shut you off to show off. Now you're completely over it, fed up, and looking for change. Whether that be change within this connection or changing your own foundation, I feel you're stepping into a new vibration, a new moment in life, and someone is hoping they're not left behind. As it seems, many of their problems have turned into an even bigger mess, all because they chose to be fake or follow the wrong crowd. Let's get some final energy here from another deck. Confirmation, Holy Spirit. What are the messages here? Dodge the bullet was trying to come out. Many of you may dodge the bullet when dealing with this situation where someone is completely planning, but it's not going their way. It came out in the reverse. Someone's definitely planning something when it comes to you. They feel like you are the key. You are the one. Someone's feeling like you're the one that got away or they should have never put a key in your back or pushed you to change because they're still wanting you. Someone still wants your uh, your attention. Someone is still attracted to you. If they feel like you may reject them, they feel like you're there in a friend zone or a friend or no longer a friend, they feel like they're being rejected. This is someone who knows they're being rejected because of the broken promises or the fact that they didn't message you or send any love your way. This is someone who is being very reckless when it comes to affairs of the heart and now they're wanting to send some type of message of love after ghosting you. I feel this is self-sabotage for someone who was breaking all the rules and now they're starting to figure out or feel like you are the key. You're the reason why they had any opportunities in the first place. I feel this energy is realizing everything they once had with you is now lost and they're drained. They wish they never took a chance on pushing you away or ghosting you because now they feel like they need to do something really big that keeps your eye or attract you. Someone is wanting to attract attention from you, but they feel like you don't have time for them. This is someone who made a lot of broken promises or made a lot of decisions that broke your heart because in so many ways, they definitely disappointed you. I feel this energy wants to make something right, but they are also sitting in an energy where they're completely shocked. I feel like this energy is shocked that it seems like you're able to move on or you're doing well. Even if you're not, this energy feels so. Hmm. This energy feels like you are doing better than they are. And even more, they're not starting to feel the separation or divide isn't temporary. Someone feels like the separation between the two of you is, is most likely indefinite. 
this is why they're wanting to send a message but for many of you you're questioning why it took so long or why now I feel this energy was very guarded when it comes to you now they're looking for positive change I feel this energy could be spying or looking for an opportunity but I feel you're you're relaxed or you're making own, your own changes in your own life I feel for many of you, you could be going back to school or you could be planning something for self. Please take it how it resonates, but this energy taking a risk when it comes to you was definitely a benefit for you, even though it feels like a burden. I feel like this energy was guarded when it comes to you and now it seems it's driving them crazy. The distance, the silence, everything backfired, everything went up in smoke. Someone feels like their plans backfired and now they're trying to cope with it. You're dealing with someone who is definitely a poor communicator. And this is why it feels like you're the one who is always talking or trying to communicate or resolve this. This is someone who's a poor communicator and could be coping in a toxic way because they know everything fell apart because of them. Now they feel caught up in their own web of lies because they couldn't make a decision when it comes to you. Now someone could be questioning everything. They're questioning why they put you through this or why they were sending mixed signals because for many of you, you definitely went above and beyond when it comes to this. I feel you went above and beyond, but they still created this chaos within a home. Someone created chaos because they put no effort into a situation. In fact, someone failed to show their hand. They just tried to manipulate a situation by playing games or just trying to be very strategic when it comes to affairs of the heart. This is someone who put no effort into a situation causing a lot of mayhem and chaos and now they're starting to feel like a clown because of it. This is someone who is feeling foolish and bored with their choices. Someone is realizing they settled for less. But I feel this energy had to go through this to realize the difference between the two. I feel someone needed to realize what they really have with you. Now someone is reflecting on the energy between you guys. They're feeling foolish because they failed to spend any quality time. Someone is realizing they should have invested more time and support into you. This is someone who knows that the bond that you had with each other was very unique and they're wanting your support, your love, your energy. But I feel for many of you, you could be vibing solo, good without them. I feel someone knows they need to make a confession if they want your support, but they're feeling drained. This energy is feeling drained by a hater or all the arguments and chaos surrounding them because of the fact that they have no access to you. Someone is in a state of confusion on how to fix this with you. This is someone who was driven by their emotions, no facts. I feel this energy gets upset and they get petty and they try to make you react. This is someone who feels like they know you better than you know yourself. But I feel this energy is learning the hard way. They never knew you at all, vice versa. Take it how it resonates, you guys, reverse the roles if necessary, but someone feels like you friend zoned them. Someone feels like the relationship would never be the same. There is no love, there is no respect, there is no friendship because someone was all talk and meaningless words. Someone needed to make a decision, but they failed to do that. Now they feel like they're going to have to butter you up because they know you're a key player. I feel like this energy rolled the dice and took a chance. Now they're realizing there's no reward. Wow. Okay. So it seems someone took a chance on a mutual situation where there was love. Wow, there's a lot of love here. I feel there's a lot of love in this situation, but due to the broken promises and this energy masking their emotions, someone unintentionally or intentionally broke your heart. I feel like this energy wanted the attention or the admiration so bad they took a chance. They took a roll of the dice in a situation that was <sighs> lawless. There was no truth. There was no foundation. Those they chose over you were unreliable, 
only there because they were winning. And now that they are losing, things have changed. Someone is realizing now, you, you are the total package. And they regret not investing in you. But I feel this energy needed to get caught. Someone needed to realize the difference between the real and the fake. And now they're wanting to communicate that to you. But they feel like you don't want to listen. You won't hear them out because of all the lies. It seems like they, their word doesn't mean anything. I feel this energy lied to you, broke your heart, broke the chain, broke the connection. Something that was locked down is no longer intact. They're stressed about it, driving themselves crazy because they can't fix this problem. Someone can't fix this problem and they're going through a lot of karma, tower moments, and destruction because of it. There's a lot of loss here. There's a lot of loss for someone cheating, backstabbing energy. Wow. Someone who couldn't be loyal. And now the same energy that was given is now being received as this energy trusted their enemy. But I feel this energy needed to go through this, you guys. They definitely needed to see something for what it was. Because now they're wanting to show you appreciation. After not being realistic about their expectations. Someone thought it was just a dream. Someone thought it would be easy without you, but it wasn't. Someone thought it would be a better situation. Thinking the grass was greener on the other side when it wasn't. Now someone sees you as a key player, someone who is essential in their life. You play an essential role. Um, and because of the fact that they overthought something, they were overthinking a situation, thinking about their many options, someone had a tough exterior when it comes to you. That only led them nowhere. A dead end. I feel like this energy having this tough exterior and overthinking a situation, thinking that they were going to have more without you. Someone is now realizing they only invested in a pipe dream, something that wasn't real at all. Now you regret these broken promises and trying to break from you, disrespecting the connection, because now they're wanting to come in with love or good intentions. But many of you are very suspicious, thinking why now? Why wanting why this energy may want to fix something is because things are falling apart and you're gaining in many ways. I feel all the blessings that were coming this person's way, quite a few of these blessings were attached to you. And without you, these blessings, these opportunities are no longer available. Someone was overthinking something and now they're thinking about how hard of a heart they had towards you. Someone is realizing you never deserved the pain. Someone is being very unrealistic about life and now they're experiencing karma and consequence for it. They're wanting to make an offer and reconcile something with you, but many of you feel like they still haven't changed. I feel this is someone who now feels like your heart is unavailable. You're unbothered. Everything they say can't be trusted, blah, blah, blah. Same thing, different day. And someone feels like they no longer have a fighting chance when it comes to you. Even if they choose to beg, it just might be time up when it comes to rebuilding what is broken between the two of you. I hope you guys have enjoyed the message.